feel like there's not going to be any mobs in the daytime. Oh boy, there will be mobs now. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Minecraft One Life. As always, don't forget to leave an interesting fact as a comment down below for a chance to be featured at the end of future One Life videos. But in today's video, I have something super exciting and special to show you guys off. It's something a lot of you have been requesting for a very long time and I kept joking that it would never happen. But I've only gone and done it. I've rebuilt my bloody house. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Let me take you for a tour of my wonderful new home. So since I've acquired Merlin, it's made it easier to like quickly travel around and get resources and like fly around and place blocks and stuff. It just makes life so much easier. Merlin is an absolute star. So as you can see, I had to plant a lot of trees to get all of the wood to do it all. But I've also like framed my area with them. It looks quite nice. I've done here as well, look. It's finished. It looks wonderful. No one's claimed the skeleton horse and I'm not entirely sure who it is so the skeletal horse has now gone into the pen to keep him safe so he doesn't wander off and if you come down here you can see that i have finished the vault and da -da! well when i say finished i mean i've spruced up this area i'm not finished adding rooms because as we find more stuff that we can build and like add to the vault the vault will expand but for now it's it, it's getting there i have a spooky skeleton guard we go into the vault we have this area as you can see i've actually filled the floor in oh my goodness he's done the floor in here as well and the roof like i said i would I love the terracotta. It's amazing. And then I finish the roof in here. Move the Christmas lights. It looks wonderful. But now we go over to the main event. We have the house. As you can see, I took your advice. There is more torches around the house. I probably should put some around here. Oh, there's some on the floor, actually. That's not, that's fine. I couldn't remember if I put them on the house or on the floor. I put some on the floor, so it's all okay. But as you can see, use the deco bench. Got these lovely windows. It all looks good. I'm normally like really bad at building, but I'm quite happy with how this has turned out. It's looking pretty good. So we come into the main hall. A lovely yellow carpet will greet you. I have an area that I can store things on. My deco bench is over here in a lovely little bay window. I love a good bay window. It adds character to a home. And then over here, we have my trophy collection. Check this out. I've got quite a few now. These are pretty cool. I like these. Hopefully I'll get more from dungeons that I'll be going into because if you remember last episode, I found like three dungeons. It was crazy. I'm going to do at least one dungeon by myself and then, or maybe two. And then if I do one, the other two, I'm going to see if Callum wants to do them when he's got powered up. I've got my little crafting area over here here. Mr. Fantastic is over here by a bookshelf because you can never not have a bookshelf in a home. For me, a home needs a bookshelf. I just love reading. Like in my office, I've got tons of books on a massive bookshelf. More windows. It looks lovely. I've actually used the pirate banners as well. Look, you come up here, there's more windows. It's lovely. There's lots of light coming in. Look at these lovely pirate banners. And voila! I have actually a decent sleeping area now. I have actually organized myself. Look at me being an adult and being organized. Aren't I great? Honestly, though, this took forever. But again, literally, since we put more creatures on and I've got Merlin, life is a lot easier. A heck of a lot easier. So there you have it, guys. This is my new home. Hopefully you guys like it, because I know I've, I've had quite a few comments saying, Fix your own! Well, guess what? It's fixed. And hopefully it is to your standard. So now instead of telling me to fix my home, you can now leave comments with facts. Also, what I've done off camera is I went and deposited 64 diamonds at Joey and Shubble. I think it's Shubble did it with Joey. It's Joey and someone else at their mending bookshop. So I've got two left over that are in the chest upstairs. I was really confused then, but I've put them upstairs because I've put mending on all my armor, on my sword, not on the obsidian pickaxe because I needed like 17 inches levels and I've already used all my enchanting levels. On my extreme pickaxe, my bow for some reason doesn't let me do it. Let me know if you can put mending on a bow when I'm just being an idiot or if something's gone wrong because I'm not quite sure what's gone wrong. Also, as you can see, I have built three backpacks. Now you're probably thinking, Kyle, why have you built three backpacks? You're a madman. Well, it's because I'm really disorganized and I always run out of space. And in the backpack, you get like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, 18 more slots. That's madness. So look at all the extra slots I get. It's crazy. So when I go to the dungeons, I can just start whacking stuff in the backpack. It'll make life a lot 
easier. Also realised, my armour isn't as protected as I thought it was. I only have up to protection 4 on my armour. I thought I had max protection. All this time I've been running around thinking I had max protection. Turns out I don't. So I've managed to knock one up to 5, but I need so many diamonds, it is ridiculous. So we're not able to do that at the moment. So I'm going to have to go get more diamonds and then I can actually do it. Because I only have... Oh, I've got 16. So if I make another set of armour... I think I might be able to make two sets of armour out of this. But it's going to take a long time. Oh, can I make... Yeah, two sets of armor so oh my goodness i need so many diamonds that's mental how many i need but off camera i'll go about do that and it'll be good and then we'll have max protection also while i run outside and try and kill things to get experience so i can get mending on my obsidian pickaxe which is the one with fortune so i need it because it'll make getting diamonds easier here's a question for you all fawns fawns is an armor enchantment i know in previous one lives people have told me it's a bad idea because it drains durability but if I have mending on, will that counter it? These are the questions that I need answering, and only you guys can answer them for me. So go ahead and let me know if it's a good idea or not. I still feel like it's a good idea. I know it's Jack has it on his armor, and Jack knows what he's doing. Jack's got more of an idea than me. But I'm just going to have to run around and see if there's any mobs. I feel like there's not going to be any mobs in the daytime. Oh boy, there will be mobs now because there's a blood moon. A blood moon is rising. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get my bow out, and we're going to fly into the air, Merlin. Let's go. I also swapped out the arrows of harm because you guys were telling me it was a bad idea. So I swapped them out and now I have arrows of poison, which will be a little bit of a better idea. So we're just going to wait over here, wait for the blood moon to spawn and see what comes in. I can very quickly get over here and drop in there and change it to daytime if it gets a little bit too much for me. But it should be okay. Come on, blood moon, where are you at? Where is the blood moon? Oh boy, here comes the blood moon. So loads of stuff should spawn in and it should be easy experience. Come on, I can just do flybys on my mantle. Oh, hello there, skeletons. Okay, let's land and let's run round. I mean, to be honest, I can shoot everything from a distance anyway, because I've got infinity. This is going to take a while. Oh, that's a little bit too high. Oh, that's a little bit too high. Oh my goodness. My accuracy is appalling. Wow, that took way longer than it needed to. Okay. Oh, I'm getting so little experience of everything. It's a little bit upsetting. Do certain mobs give you more experience? I would hope so. Hello, Mr. Ogre. Do you get one shot? You get one shot. Do you know what? I didn't think you'd get one shot, but you do. Oh, guys, this is going to take forever. I suppose it gives me more rotten flesh, though, which is a good thing. Oh, look. Apparently, manticore eggs are super rare, but I've literally killed two manticores in this game and got eggs twice. So I don't know how rare they actually are. Ooh, spoders. That's a lot of spoders. Everything's dying before the poison affects them. I'm so confused because I'm collecting collecting experience, but I feel like my experience bar isn't going up. Oh, I've got mending on, haven't I? Oh, Kyle. Oh, Kyle, oh, Kyle, oh, Kyle. That's why. Does Shovel have potions of enchanting? That would speed this process up. I've just realized, because I've got mending on, it's going to take even longer. I did not think this through. The question is, how much repairing does, like, experience do? Oh my goodness, that's a spider with a top hat. Does it repair, like, quite a lot of your armor? Or does it, like, not do any of it? Does it take forever? Oh, look, it's a werewolf. If I poison him... Okay, Mr. Werewolf, we're gonna fly away now. Ah, I'm not shooting poisoned arrows. Where has the werewolf gone? Mr. Werewolf, please refrain from attacking me. There we go, I've poisoned him. I'll get rid of the werewolf, won't it? Maybe slowly. Poison's a bit rubbish. Oh, there's a giant golem. Well, isn't that lovely? Do you know what? I'm gonna let the golem build up, and then I'm gonna kill him, because they're meant to drop things, like diamond blocks, which would be really helpful, but every time I've killed one, nothing. So I'm assuming it's because it's not been at full power. Have you got big yet? Are you a big boy? I think he's a big boy. Oh, he's a big boy. I'd assume the golem is immune to poison. I'd assume wrong. Let's attack the golem. Okay, he's healing. That's annoying. I feel like I'm meant to hit him somewhere, but I don't exactly know where it is. Oh, and I've, I've been poisoned by something. Have I poisoned myself? That's interesting. Oh, I needed to kill silver skeletons because I needed a silver sword, but none of them are dropping one. Right, I'm just going to bow the poor werewolf to death. See, arrows of harming work on werewolves. Is it even doing anything? It's slowly poisoning him. I feel really bad about this. There we go, he died. Well, we've survived till dawn, so that's a thing. I'm going to jump off Merlin. I'm going to put him away so he's safe. Merlin. Merlin. Then, I'm going to bandage up. I'm going to find this golem, and I'm actually just going to whack him in the face. Where is he? He's round here somewhere. 
Don't tell me he's gone and despawned. He's gone and despawned, hasn't he? He was massive. I thought he'd have stayed with him being massive. Oh, man. I forgot that I put mending on everything, even though I just mentioned I'd put mending on everything. So it's going to take forever. I'm going to have to do, like, loads of mining and get experience from that and smelting and stuff. But that's fine, because I'm going to be doing that off camera, and that will put up the durability of all my gear that is damaged. But for now, let us head home and do the interesting fact of the day. And today's interesting fact is brought to you by Rach. And her interesting fact is a group of pandas is known as an embarrassment. Now, that's another animal fact. I love a good animal fact. I, I accept all kinds of facts. Don't worry. You don't have to just do an animal one, but I do quite like animal ones. But as always, guys, don't forget to leave an interesting fact down below. Don't forget to leave the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you know when more beautiful One Life content comes out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.